So next we come to Champion, which is another of the hard four uh, feeds. Champion, very appropriately named. In the words of DSV, this is a massively powerful, strong variety. It's been topping the yield charts for the UK recommended list ever since it came in last year. I think one caveat to that, yeah, when you look at its northern performance, it doesn't do quite so well. So yeah, it, I'm not sure quite how far north you would want to go with this, but given the type of growth habit it has and some of its other traits, I'm not sure it's really cut out for the far north anyway. But as things stand, this has the best septoria resistance score of any variety. And we, yeah, we certainly saw that last year and you can see it again this year in the plots. It is so much cleaner than anything else out there. In terms of how it fits for growers, obviously this is the standout winner for out and out yield, especially the further south you go. But there's a couple of things that you have to keep in mind if you are gonna grow champion. Massive, massive speed of development. So it doesn't want to go in the ground too early. Straw strength has always been maybe the concern around Champion. It is slightly taller straw than some of the other group fours um, and yeah, it just maybe isn't quite as strong as some of the others. But depending on where you put it, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. The other thing that maybe goes against it is spec weight as well. It's not quite as strong as some other varieties, but again, I think Really, it just comes down to how you manage it and where you place it on your farm. But I think, yeah, alongside Dawson, we've been very, very lucky to have two such fantastic varieties coming into the Group 4 market.